Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Happy, happy weekend. We're already entering the weekend. I hope everyone is doing well. As for me, I'm quietly amazing, healthy, and live and kicking. So, thank you guys for the comment, for the beautiful, <laughs> for the beautiful, beautiful comment, and you're all congratulating me upon my marriage. So, thank you so much, guys. And some of you asking, is he really a Filipino? He looks like Chinese. Oh, what? Anyway most especially that in uganda most of the people they think he's a chinese so you always have to say oh i'm a filipino okay so yeah <laughs> filipino from philippian <laughs> that's how most ugandan will say it so but yeah he's a filipino a true filipino one filipino that filipino so yeah that's who he is but for him he think he's he's a opa with opa <laughs> He think he's so far with no banks, <laughs> but anyway, that's how it is. And you know, guys, to go to the story on how we met, it's really a wrong story. And I probably they should do a drama about it. <laughs> that's not important. We met in Uganda because he lived in Uganda for almost 15 years, but not all 15 years that I was with him. If I say that, that will be a lie. But first of all, first the good thing before I go to that story, we will get there. I'm just that proud and happy that I married my best friend because he's my friend, he understands me and we fight, we argue, we laugh, we cry, <laughs> but we go through every step together and that's most of one of the best things that I always wanted. If I'm going to settle with someone, it's someone who understands me, who really loves me for me, because I'm not special, but yeah, if you're going to accept me, you have to accept me with with all your heart, like with all your heart. You have to take me for me, and you know, most of people, they, they love, I that for many reasons and I don't care what reason all those reasons are but you just have to if you love a person you have to love them for the person that they are in and out you don't have to say what is that or this and this no excuse love relationship shouldn't be an excuse it should be you have to in like you have to invest your emotions, your love, your your time. I think in everything. So I'm just happy that I found a friend in my husband and I found a person I can rely on that will understand me. That I know that everything happens, we go through it together. So this is the person I married. <laughs> He's really a gentleman, a good person, and he's my opa. <laughs> so yeah, we met in Uganda. He was staying in Uganda for almost a century. So yeah, he know actually Uganda more than I do, and it's my country. <laughs> which it's like it, it, he tries to make it both ways sometimes we might try to go somewhere like when the taxi or bus it's like he's, he turned to me he's like where are we I'm like dude this is your country you're asking me where are we I'm supposed to be the one asking you where are we so we get lost in Cebu city it's like is this supposed to be my fault <laughs> but one thing about marrying my husband is just that he really loves me for me, he respects me, he cares for me, and I know emotionally he's always there for me. You know, sometimes I can have emotional damage at the moment, but he always he gives me time, he's patient, and 
and I think everyone's every woman's dream is that, you know? So as for me, I'm just happy and proud of myself. <laughs> Although he haven't met most of family, I met his family, most of them, but he also met my siblings, like my two sisters and my one little brother, and dang, my brother really, like, he's into him, he's like, <laughs> I don't know if I say it right, like, my brother loves him, like, every time, it's like, they, like this. they meet once, but... He fell in love with him. He really like love him, and he also loved the family that I have because he knows my family was my everything when he met when we met. So he respects that. Although at this point, like, I have to build a family of my own, but they still also my families. I still care, love them, take care of them. So let's let's go and enjoy the weekend. When we come back, I'll tell you the story exactly how it happened my story okay maybe when he will tell us his story as well but i'll tell you the part of my story but yeah we met in africa uganda he was here. that's where we met and he actually just came back last year no the last last year he just it's just like he's been in Philippines for all for just one year in maybe fifteen years, if I say. So catch in the next video, let's go down to this lane. Who knows? We can find a movie in my story. Thank you guys, take care, God bless you, love you so much.